this is by far the weirdest shampoo and conditioner I have ever used. <laughs> but now I want everyone to try it. Hey everyone, I'm Becca. Thanks for visiting my channel and thanks to those who are coming back. I have been so intrigued with this product for years. Honestly, like how could it actually be good? It's like really weird. If you wanna get right to the review, just go here. This has now been the product I've been recommending for people who have asked what product should I use if I want a good everyday kind of shampoo. This shampoo and conditioner are for people who have hair similar to mine. There isn't really an issue. You don't really have color treated or highlighted hair. You really just want a basic everyday shampoo and conditioner that doesn't break the bank. <laughs> but it's kind of weird, which is why I'm making this video. Okay, so what the heck is it? Royce, can you insert a drum roll, please? <laughs> Shampoo and conditioner bars. Before I get to the brand review, cost, and what I do and don't like about it, I wanna show you how to use it because when I first used it, I was like, what? <laughs> First, like any other shampoo, you're gonna make sure your hair is really wet. Then get the shampoo bar wet. And how I like to use it is to rub it directly on my scalp in a few different places around my head. Then I'll put the bar down and emulsify the product on my scalp. This is the part I was most surprised about. Very little bit goes a long way. Once I've given myself a nice head massage, I rinse the shampoo out. Next is the conditioner bar. This one was very concerning because you all know I like conditioner, and this seemed like the weirdest part of the process. I like to take the conditioner bar in my hand and then rub it in a downward motion on my mid lengths and ends. I'll put the bar down and then work it through the rest of my hair by finger combing. If your hair is long and tends to get tangly, I would use a wide tooth comb to work the product through your mid lengths and ends. I was really skeptical about this part and surprisingly, it feels amazing. Then after the conditioner is on for a couple minutes, rinse it out. If you like the examples using the products in the shower, make sure to leave a like and a comment just so I know. I'll keep doing it. I've tried two different brands of shampoo bars, Lush and Earthling Co. I recognize there are more brands out there, but I wanted at least to do two different brands before making my final conclusion about shampoo and conditioner bars. <laughs> The Lush Shampoo Bar was about $14 and the conditioner was about $15. <laughs> I couldn't find the scents that I had, so I can't remember what they are or what I was targeting. Most likely it was moisture and shine or something like that. The Earthling Co. brand was $15 for the shampoo and $15 for the conditioner. And I got the scent Cool Breeze. <laughs> which smells amazing. <laughs> of the two brands, I really like the Earthling Co. And that's the one I would recommend trying. And it's the brand that I'll be talking about for the rest of this video. Just so you know, I'm not getting paid to say any of this. And I bought these products with my own money. <laughs> Here's what I like about using the Earthling Co. shampoo and conditioner bars. The cost is amazing. For a good quality product, $30 for both the shampoo and the conditioner. It's a great deal. You know I like me some bougie brands, so this might be the cheapest shampoo I've recommended on my channel. And if you sign up for their subscription, it's cheaper. Next, the ingredients. This might be the smallest ingredients list of any of the products I've recommended. It lacks all the buzzword ingredients like sulfates, gluten, parabens, fillers, preservatives, <laughs> silicone. So if ingredients are your number one priority, this could be a really good option for you. Here's an excerpt from their website that I thought we could read together. <laughs> Great daily routines don't require waste. We are a brand that focuses on making eco-friendly products easy, effective, and affordable. We create mindfully crafted, efficient products that are safe for you, the planet, and everyone that calls it home. Isn't that so nice? I thought it was nice. So if you're someone who lives an eco-friendly life, doesn't want to consume products that use plastics, and are good for the environment, this is my recommendation for you. Next, the results. The shine in my hair after I use these products is surprising. Like, like legit, I was shocked. I didn't add any extra products to my hair 
I lied. Okay, I added a heat protectant because y'all know I don't live without a heat protectant. And that's it. That's the only other thing that's in my hair other than using the shampoo and conditioner in the shower. I mean, it's not like glass, but this is shiny. For only having a heat protectant? Come on, bro. And for having like 10 ingredients? What the heck? <laughs> shocked. Again, I was shocked. My hair feels amazing. It smells nice. And it's so soft and light. I'm not kidding you when I tell you I was not expecting very much from this product, but it definitely delivered. This is also a great option for both men and women. And that's a plus. The packaging. Well, there isn't any. <laughs> it comes in a recyclable box and that's it. No plastic containers. And it's lasting a long time. I've had this product and use it consistently for about two months now, and I still have a lot of the bar left. There is no target area of concern. From what I can tell, it's not like this product targets certain areas of concern like moisture, damage, or frizz, which is a blessing and a curse. I like it because it's not complicated, but I think it could turn off someone who might be looking for something specific, especially if you have major areas of concern. Because it's a bar, you have no way of knowing how long it'll last. <laughs> At least with the liquid, you can see how much is left and how much you're using with the bar. You just don't know. <laughs> they claim it lasts 50 to 75 washes or two to six months but that's very dependent on the person's hair. The other thing I've wondered is how it will work with African-American hair or thick curly hair. I could see it being hard for somebody with very coarse textured or thick curly hair to really benefit from this product. The conditioner is moisturizing, but I could see it being more complicated for someone with a coarse texture to feel like it's actually moisturizing their hair. I think the shampoo could still work, but I think the conditioner might be disappointing. So overall, I give this product a nine out of 10 hair brushes. This isn't for everyone, but I would say it's for most. And it might, it might, just maybe. I'm not ready to commit yet. <laughs> went out over my beloved Bumble and Bumble hairdresser's invisible oil shampoo and conditioner. Let me know if you've tried shampoo and conditioner bars before and how you liked it. I'll link the products in the description below in case you wanna check it out and try them for yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Here are two more videos you can watch or you can subscribe right here. <laughs> Don't forget to smash that like button. <laughs> like, <laughs> the like button, the like button. <laughs> I ring the bell for every time I post new videos. See you next time, bye.